It came to be obviously 24 years ago, the business people trying to create a festival to bring people into town and, and show them what carpentry is all about. And it uh, just grew from a very, very small festival to this uh, huge event we got now. We bring uh, our flow is probably 80,000 throughout the weekend from where it was like a block to begin with and now it's, just, it's almost a whole town now. The Avocado Festival is a 501c3, which means that we are a nonprofit, but nonprofits come and rent the booths to sell food. And this is really one of their, if not their biggest fundraisers of the year. As you can tell, with over, over 100,000 or close to it, um, they're making quite a bit of money. So it's a great venue for them. Hi, this is Pete with uh, Santa Barbara Riders. Uh, we're part of the Uni Shop. Every year we uh, have a raffle, and it, all the proceeds go to the Uni Shop. They service all the people here from uh, Ventura to Santa Maria County. Great organization, and the Avocado Festival is a great place to be. Uh, we always have a good time here, and we sell a lot of tickets. Very generous people here. We appreciate all the help. Well, the best part of the festival, it's one of the last few street festivals uh, that's non-gated. It's still a free festival. Uh, the, the big festivals, the Garlic Festival, the Strawberry Festival, they've all gone to gated events where it costs you money to get in. So then you got, you know, if you have a family, then you know, you're looking at maybe $40, $50 just before you go in the gate. So this is still a free festival. Um, we have over 60 bands on three stages, and I think that's probably the highlight of, of it. Uh, you, know, you can bring a family down here, there's going to be a kid stage in the kids area with storytelling and puppet shows. So there's something for everybody. There's all kinds of, you name it, the music. It goes from jazz to blues to rock uh, to country and western. There's a band for you somewhere here over the weekend. Trust me. My name's Hannah. I'm from Temecula, and my favorite avocado food is just chips and guacamole. Hi, my name is Kimberly Kim, and I'm from South Korea. Actually, I'm studying abroad in UCSB. And through this uh, festival, I got to know about guacamole, guacamole, and it's really awesome. I really uh, enjoyed this festival. Yeah, the guacamole contest is very interesting too. We have. We have one gentleman, for the last three years, he's flown here for, from Japan to enter the avocado uh, guacamole contest. Uh, so you get a lot of really good recipes and you know, some, some spicy stuff and you know, everybody's got their own ideas. And so I like tasting the different recipes that these people come up with. And they, they get pretty elaborate with their setups and stuff too. They just don't throw a bowl of guacamole on the table. They kind of have a presentation and their presentation is really good. It's the World Championships! of guacamole! Yes! Oh, we're partying here today, friends. Remember, once again, our judges are going to be judging the guacamole on three different levels. First level, texture. Second level, presentation. Some people get very creative when they dish it up. And Probably most importantly, we are judging on taste. One of my favorite things to do is put a microphone in front of John Palminteri's mouth while he's chewing. Let's try it right now. John, how are you? I'm filtering some of it with my mustache. <laughs> yes. It's one of my favorite trees. It keeps giving fruit throughout the year, and it's the only fruit that tastes good with beer. But now, is it a fruit? Yes, it is. It's got its own world in which it lives, not like the apple or the orange or the tangerine. The avocado lives its very own dream and add a little garlic and tomato too. Squeeze some lime, it's up to you. Holy guacamole, that is fun. At the 24th Annual California Avocado Festival, the world champion of guacamole is entry number 16, Sarah Rathbun! Congratulations, Sarah. Come on up here. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm Steve Bunting. I'm with the Carpentry and Morning Rotary Club. We focus on poverty issues. We focus on clean water. We focus on education 
it's a great organization of business people that want to make a difference in the community. And here we are at the famous Carpinteria Avocado Festival selling calendars and we're selling drawing tickets for uh, Kenny Loggins autographed guitar. So we're having a great time out here today. Hi, my name is Laura and I'm from uh, UC Santa Barbara, I'm a student right here and um, I'm a um, avocado fanatic. I eat it with everything I can so I couldn't miss it out on this festival. First year I hear about it and I'm so glad I came. I had a lot of uh, cool new foods. It was great. We've been involved with uh, the California Avocado Festival for about 15 years and it's our major fundraiser for the entire year that keeps our nonprofit alive. This is our big uh, sell for the year and we've been serving taquitos now for well over uh, 10 years. We were featured on the Travel Channel a few years ago and uh, so they've become world renowned. It's a, a, a faith-based organization and so we, we uh, serve two retreats a year. The Avocado Festival here in Carpinteria, it's local. and You can just tell by being in the community. It's a small community and there's a lot of people who come out. I mean, if you go block down, everybody who lives within the neighborhood's involved here and that's what makes the, the festival real special. How you doing? I'm John Palminteri and uh, one of the things I did here in Carpinteria is I was asked to wear this cute little bib because I was a judge for the guacamole contest. So there was five of us that were judging, we tasted 28 guacamole. Some were chunky, some were funky, some had habanero, some had bacon, some were thick, some had mango, some had salt, some had garlic, one had soy sauce. By the way, that's the one that won. Won't tell you all the ingredients that went into it, but that's uh, what we all had to go through. And we tasted 28 guacamoles and awarded the first place for the California Avocado Festival. But one thing I can tell you is that Friday night, was locals night the street was packed everybody was having a fun time the food is great the music is the best of any festival in santa barbara there's more than 65 bands here and we can't wait till it comes around again next year for the 25th avocado festival i'm full of guacamole now but i'll be ready to judge it next year and i hope to see you here at the avocado festival see ya